wasting your time by clicking on a thousand buttons every time you want to do something in FL. Seriously. Instead, let me help you and teach you the most essential shortcuts of FL Studio that will make you a better producer. Okay, let's get started. We all know that we can hit Ctrl A to select all the nodes, but what if you only want to select a part of them? Well, simply hold Ctrl and drag a box around the nodes you want to edit. When you're done editing them, hit Ctrl D on your keyboard to deselect them. But what if you want to transpose your melody by one octave? Well, then simply select your notes and drag them one octave lower. Just kidding, do, do not do that, it's, it's a waste of time. Instead, select the notes you want to edit and hit Alt plus arrow down. By the way, this also works for shifting them one octave up. If you want to transpose your notes by just one semitone, then hold Shift plus arrow up or arrow down key. Now let's talk about ghost notes. What in the world is even that? Ghost notes are notes from another channel in the channel rack. This comes in really handy when you're creating a bass line on top of a melody, for example, but when you don't need them, they can be a little bit annoying. Simply hit Alt plus V on your keyboard to hide them. You can always bring them back by pressing the same shortcut again. Before we go any further, let me know your favorite FL Studio shortcut down below. Who knows, maybe I can learn something from you guys. So you just play the melody on your MIDI keyboard, but the notes are a little bit off beat. To fix that, simply hit Ctrl Q on your keyboard. This will quantize your notes. That means that the notes will be adjusted to the nearest beat in the timeline. I absolutely love hi-hat rolls and to make them, go to the tool icon on top and click on Quick Chop. This will chop your note into 1 16th notes. To do this even faster, you can simply hit Ctrl plus U on your keyboard. Easy peasy. Hit P on your keyboard to enable the pen tool. This will allow you to draw one of your patterns inside the playlist. If you hit Z or B on your keyboard, you'll enable the paint tool. As the name suggests, you can hold your left mouse button and paint in your patterns. If you want to mute specific patterns, you can do that by hitting T on your keyboard and then selecting the patterns you want to mute. To make cuts or slices in your clips, you can use the slice tool. To quickly enable the tool, simply hit the C on your keyboard. And there you go. Sometimes the FL Studio workspace can become a mess, especially when you're working on bigger projects. Projects. To close everything at once, hit F12 on your keyboard. Don't worry, this won't close your project, it will only close all the windows which allows you to reopen the ones you actually need. F5 on your keyboard will open and close the playlist window. F6 takes care of the channel rack and F7 will open up the piano roll. Oh, the next one is an absolute life changer. When one of your patterns is selected, hit F2 on your keyboard to change the name and or the color of that pattern. Oh, and this also works in the playlist and even in the mixer window. It's truly amazing. If you want to label stuff in your playlist, for example intro, verse or chorus, you can use markers for that. Place your playhead at the spot where you want a marker and hit Ctrl T on your keyboard. Double click on the marker to change the name. You can also change the position of your marker by dragging it to your desired spot. Sometimes FL Studio just doesn't work. Does, does this look familiar to you? Well, don't you worry, I recently made a video about how to make FL Studio run smoother and prevent it from crashing. Smooth like butter. Don't forget to drop a like and I'll see you next Friday. Ciao. Voilà. Okay. Is mijn haar nog goed, eigenlijk?